My name is Tess Belknap. I am presenting on educational giant Friedrich Froebel. Best known as the inventor of kindergarten, Friedrich Wilhelm August Froebel was born April 21st, 1782, in a small village called Oberweisbach in what is present day Germany. Froebel's father was a Lutheran clergyman, and his mother died when he was only nine months old. Since he had no mother to raise him, and his father spent most of the time out of the home, Friedrich spent most of his time alone, often wandering the family gardens. This helped him develop a deep and abiding love of nature. His love of nature was most likely later influenced the creation of the name kindergarten, or child's garden, as he originally called it. He invented that name uh, while on a walk through the woods. Froebel married Wilhelmine Henriette Hoffmeister in 1818. She later passed away in 1839. He remarried Louise Levin in 1851, a year before his death in 1852. Friedrich's uncle took responsibility for his education while he was a young boy. His uncle sent Friedrich to a local school for some years before Friedrich was apprenticed to a forester and surveyor. Froebel spent some time at the University of Jena before being jailed for unpaid debts. Unfortunately, as college students, we know that education can be quite expensive. After being released from jail, Froebel went to Frankfurt, Germany to study architecture. Some say, in fact, many say that his study of architecture allowed him to see benefits and downsides of many different creative environments. He preferred to think of a kindergarten as an actual garden where there was learning and growth taking place and it was a naturally welcoming, comforting environment. Friedrich Froebel, while in Frankfurt, Germany, met Anton Greiner, the headmaster of the Frankfurt Pet Model School, which was based off of Pestalozzian methods. Greiner offered Froebel a teaching position, which he accepted and he worked at, uh, as a private tutor and instructor at the Pestalozzi and Frankfurt Model School. There he learned about Pestalozzi's methods and philosophies. He even studied as one of Pestalozzi's pupils directly. After having directly studied Pestalozzi's methods and philosophy, Froebel created his own, which he believed were more structurally sound than Pestalozzi's methods. Froebel developed a deep respect and a care for children. He wanted to incorporate that into children's education and create a program for children under seven. Previous to his involvement in children's education, children under seven were not schooled at all. In fact, they remained at home and there was hardly any environment or place for them to learn outside the home. Froebel founded a university at Grisham in 1816 where he taught for many years. He later opened a children's school in Blankenburg, Prussia. The first official kindergarten was established in 1836. Freuble believed that, be quote, because learning begins when consciousness erupts, education must also, close quote. Kindergarten was developed to help children learn and develop creative and cognitive skills. Part of Freuble's desire to help children stemmed from his lonely childhood, and part of it stemmed from his Christian belief. As an idealist, Froebel believed in unity and interconnectedness between all people. Part of the German idealist movement that he was a part of fostered the idea that everyone has a spiritual essence that can be fostered through action and creativity. Froebel believed that we all have a creative nature. He proposed that children should be put in a system of self-activity. Essentially, this means that they were allowed to find what interests them individually and pursue it by themselves. This loose structure, which what we now know as kindergarten, is still practiced in many places today. One unique method that Froebel introduced was that of play by means of gifts and occupations. As I demonstrated in my PowerPoint, the gifts and occupations are actually, well, they were actually a set of tools and toys designed for specific purposes in mind with a hidden uh, larger meaning behind them. Six colored balls are the first gift. They're designed to introduce children, very young children, infants, to color, creativity, and touch. They were gifts that were given to children that he uh, encouraged mothers to give to their babies. As they got older, wooden geometric shapes began to be introduced in sets of different shapes and sizes. The child now has the gift that, with which he can build new shapes. 
The fourth, fifth, and sixth gifts are a series of differently cut geometric blocks also, each introduced to foster construction and once again creativity. Rings, beads, and small lentils are introduced last. By this time, children are responsible and capable enough to move beyond large solid objects and start using smaller, more flexible ones. The occupations that Froebel introduced involve activities. For example, working with clay, sculpting clay, and cardboard, paper folding and cutting, painting, intertwining, weaving, drawing, stringing beads and buttons, etc. To quote directly from a source I used, Froebel Webb, quote, the gifts and occupations are intended to give the child new universal aspects of the external world suited to a child's development, close quote. Today, kindergarten is widely used program around the world, especially in most public schools across the United States. The use of gifts and occupations are used more loosely than what Froebel originally intended, but still exist as a method for capturing children's attention and creativity. I'm aiming for a degree in secondary education focused on history, and that helps me to see the effects of Froebel's work. Without educating children, society can hardly expect children to be able to develop critically thinking and become critically thinking adults. The methods Froebel used are designed specifically to stimulate certain areas of the brain, which develop motor skills, social skills, etc. Kindergarten allows for children under grade school age to interact with other children and begin learning social skills. It introduces them to a scholastic, step-by-step -step thinking, fosters activity and action. This program of kindergarten created by Friedrich Froebel was revolutionary. It introduced, introduces better educational opportunities for children of a younger age. Thank you.